coming together and put that third period, or second and third period from the week ago? Yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, there's a fine line between a rut and a groove there, and we got points in five straight games and got five out of six points last week. So, uh, you know, obviously the last two days have been disappointing against the two best teams in the conference, and uh, we thought as a team going in, it would be a measuring stick for us. Um, certainly with our roster, you know, theoretically, strengthened with the addition of Brown and, and Stevenson uh, over the last two nights. But, um, you know, the chemistry, the line seemed to be a little bit off. And, um, you know, when you when you have a game like you did last night and then you, you get scored on that first shift as well, you know, and uh, uh, we were real positive this morning and everybody was up for the game tonight. It wasn't like, you know, we were down after. You lose a game, you lose a game. You know, and last night we... Uh, I thought we turned the page pretty well this morning, but uh, you know, obviously we're, we're snake bitten around the net, and uh, the power play is having some trouble scoring. Um, you know, the movement at times tonight was fine, but uh, um, you know, we just got to be better in all areas. And so, um, you know, the last two nights feels like it's been going on for a while. But uh, as I just reminded the guys, you know, just we had five, you know, five straight games with points, and um, we just got to, uh, you know, come focused tomorrow, get back on track here with a win. Yeah, there's, yeah, uh, certainly, you, you know, you, you look at the additions and you think your roster should be stronger and uh, you try and put some lines together that, uh, you know, for example, last night we started uh, Bork and Carey and Stevenson. They had one heck of a game in game one against Springfield, you know, so those are the kind of things you look at. And um, last night we started Gaisley and Brown together with Boyd just because Gaisley and Brown played pretty much all of last season together with, with uh, Newberry, so... Um, you know, so you, that's what you, you try to look for. And, you know, when you lose 7 nothing, you, you, you want to shake it up a little bit. And so we started some different lines today. But um, to be honest with you, you know, the second and third period, I thought we, we competed hard and had some chances. And let's forget, we, we hit two posts in the first period, too. You know, those two posts go in. It's maybe a little bit different because when you're not scoring and your power plays uh, struggling, um, you know, you can lose confidence pretty quick at this game. Yeah, two guys collide. Leads to a breakaway pretty much from three quarters ice. The back number. At that point, you're thinking, okay, I need to get Justin out of there, shake something up. It wasn't necessarily an indication that you were just playing with the way he was playing, was it? Oh, not really. I mean, uh, we only had them at uh, two scoring chances in the first period, and both goals went in. Um, and we only had them, at, I think, at three scoring chances in the second period, and two of them went in. So, uh, yeah, those, and that's that's not good. That's not good enough. Um, but we do that play, you know. Uh, all the time and you know Stan was supposed to go down the wall and so when when Kerry walks up up the uh, the zone there Stan needs to go down the wall and he didn't and consequently that's why the collision happened so um, you know if we were up 4-1 or something you know you wouldn't think anything of it but obviously we were down at that point and uh, that goal certainly didn't help us either. Well there's you know you can certainly I mean, there's there's two couple different ways to look at it. You'd love to have tomorrow off to kind of refocus and have a you know, real hard week of practice and, and, you know, have two games next week. But uh, And then you can, you know, you got to get right back out of game tomorrow. So um, I don't know what Rochester uh, did tonight, but, uh, you know, we got to, as I said to the guys, you know, we just got to come focused here tomorrow to have a good start. And um, nobody feels sorry for you, you know, and uh, we just get a win tomorrow and, and then we'll take Monday off and then, you know, we'll just work on, you know, as coaching staff, that's where we can make the differences in practices and we'll push them really hard next week. But we got to, before we worry about Tuesday's practice and get ready for Portland, uh, we got to somehow find a way tomorrow to uh, to get a win here. You said the last few games have felt like they're calling for a while, but you're only 14 games into the season. It's not quite time to hit panic button yet. Oh, no, absolutely not. And, uh, you know, obviously the score sheet is, you know, we got to go score 12 nothing in the last two nights, but, uh, uh, we outshot them tonight and uh, probably outchanced them. But, uh, you know, we're just we're, we're a little bit of a perimeter team, you know, and uh, we're not big to start with. Um, and we just, you know, we got to find some guys that are willing to go into that blue paint and uh, hopefully some, you know, maybe tomorrow one will hit their guy and go in just like it did their fifth goal, you know, when Juice is trying to box the guy out and hits and goes in. We need that kind of uh, goal tomorrow, and uh, you got to work for your breaks. So, um, you know, we'll stay positive again tomorrow here and uh, – 
um, and you know, come out with a win and then kind of feel good going into the week, you know. But it is head is only it, it's been only 48 hours, and it's against the two best teams in the conference. And obviously, uh, we thought it was a measuring stick, and uh, looks like we got a ways to go to uh, catch both those teams. Although we did beat Bridgeport in their building too uh, 10 days ago, so um, that's 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 a real uh, real positive too. Okay, okay, thanks. We'll see you tomorrow.